Cohort Level Math Tool, Genomic Data Commons, GDC 2.0 Video Guides, presented by Bill Wysocki, PhD, GDC User Services Lead, written by Charlotte Sackett, GDC Senior Scientific Support Analyst, Center for Translational Data Science, University of Chicago. Introduction to the Cohort Level Math Tool. The Cohort Level Math Tool is used for searching and selecting a desired set of open access mutation annotation format or math files associated with the cohort and downloading an aggregated and compressed math. This tool is limited to open access math files, so dbGaP privileges are not required to access this feature. In this video, we will use the GDC's cohort level math tool to download an aggregated and compressed math file. How to access the cohort level math tool. To access the cohort level math tool, we will first load the GDC's data portal homepage at portal.gdc.cancer.gov. Then click on Analysis Center, which is the computer screen icon in the upper left corner of the web page. Under the Analysis Tools section, we will locate the Cohort Level Math Card, which is fourth from the left in this tutorial. Please note that the location of the tool cards may change. Once we have located the Cohort Level Math Card, we will click on the Play button in the upper right corner of the tile. How to use the Cohort Level Math Tool when the Cohort Level Map Tool is launched, the current active cohort will be selected in the Cohort Toolbar by default. Though we can switch cohorts by clicking on the drop-down menu and selecting a different one at any time. If you have not created a cohort yet, please pause this video and use the Cohort Builder tool to create one. You can refer to the GDC Cohort Builder video for assistance. This tutorial will be demonstrated with a previously created cohort of 50-plus-year-old lung cancer cases with RNA-seq data. The Cohort Level Math Tool will automatically display all open access maps for our cohort generated from whole exome sequencing and targeted sequencing data. We can switch to targeted sequencing math files by selecting the corresponding radio button in the Experimental Strategy row. By default, all math files are selected to be included in the aggregated downloaded. However, we can remove any unwanted maps by unchecking the respective boxes in the first column. Let's remove the third targeted sequencing math file for case ERADRU. To quickly remove all file selections, we can uncheck the box in the column header. Let's add back the first and second targeted sequencing math files by selecting their corresponding boxes. By default, all 139 columns of the math file are selected to be included in the aggregated math. We can select which math columns to output by clicking on the Output Columns link to change the 139 of 139 columns, which appears below the Experimental Strategy selection. After selecting the link to change the math columns, a scrollable table is displayed with checkboxes, allowing a user to select which columns to add or remove. By default, all columns are checked. We will remove a few columns as part of our demonstration. Details in the math file format and associated columns are available in the GDC math format document. Once we've selected all desired maps and columns, we can click on the gray button in the bottom right corner, which displays the total size of all selected files. The files will be aggregated, sorted, compressed, and downloaded. Exiting the cohort level math tool. To exit, we can click the X button to the left side of the cohort level math header which will bring us back to the Analysis Center. For more guidance on this and other GDC data portal tools, please refer to the video tutorials or go to docs.gdc.cancer.gov.